Okay, today I'm going to be moving my forest cobra. Um, I have the forest cobra in this 20 long tank. It was only a temporary uh, tank for the cobra because um, he's rather quite large. I'm going to be moving in this larger tub. Uh, the tub I've already uh, have locks attached to it. I have it labeled um, with the snake, what, what the, the common name is, which is uh, Sufan Cobra. I have it labeled with the scientific name. And uh, so we're going to move him over here so he's got plenty of room to move around in. This is another one of my larger Cobras, uh, very beautiful Cobra. Um, but again, I pref personally prefer things I can deal with from the top as opposed to things that are opening from the front and I'm going to make a video um, you know explaining that but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we deal with this again I like to deal with him from the top he's already awake and alert or she whichever um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top off now I have my stick here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take the snake and I'm going to go to the head and I'm going to cause the snake to go down. Okay. Now, as I do this, I'm going to hook, try to get in right on the front part of the body here, right below the hood. And then I will grab the snake, at which point I will get rid of the stick. I like to get right underneath the hood here. All right, and pick it up. I'm just going to move it right over to here. And we're going to, usually, once you get a cobra down into the thing, it usually will crawl right in, which is what he's going to do here. All right, and then we're going to slide this new lid over top of it. Take off our gloves. Get the lid on here properly. It takes a second. Clamp it down. And just to show you here what I've come up with, I'm going to roll this right out of the way. I'm going to roll this one a little bit closer, so hopefully you can see this better. Again, as you can see, I have it labeled. I have the locks here. The locks go on in the middle. We just pull them over, like so. Click the one lock. I'm going to spin this around. The other side here, pull it up, Let's hold this in here, okay, oh, didn't click, always got to make sure that the locks are actually clicked, locked. All right, now, part of my design sometimes is that I learned from my mistakes and uh, first of all with tubs like this that are longer the center part is the weakest and without something securing it they can push up and, and climb out the sides here so what I've done is well right now I've used the locks to fix that problem but prior to the locks when there was a non venomous snake in here I actually just drilled through the rim of the tub with a, a bolt and I bolted the bolt through here and it would stick out and I drilled through the lid so whenever I would open up these you would always see me pushing in on this uh, letting the bolt um, move out of the hole but otherwise the bolt would stick out through the rim of the tub and through the lid it would prevent anything from pushing up on it um, the other thing I've learned too is that these handles, these type here, they work very well. They some, but um, sometimes if you have a large constricting snake um, or a very strong snake in there, constrictor, if they push hard enough, they can actually cause these to pop open. Plus the fact if you're putting them in a rack like I have and you're sliding them over top of each other, every once in a while, sometimes the the, the tub you're putting on. When you pull it out, it may slide over this and open it up. So I actually then drill through the handles of these on both sides, and I will take longer bolts, which don't have to be um, 
don't have to have nuts or nothing on them, but the longer bolts just slide through here, hang out the bottom, and it prevents these from opening up at all. Um, so this way, these, this is very secure, he's not coming through here. These, because it's a venomous snake, obviously, these are padlocked per DEC requirements. And again, the DEC requires that it has to be labeled dangerous venomous snakes, uh, it's labeled as Sufan Cobra, um, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's Naja, Kuatha, uh, Sufana, something like that. I'm not really good with Latin words. Um, but it's labeled as to what is in here. Uh, basically, a Sufan Cobra is, is a, a monocle cobra, just as more of a specific location of, the, of that type of cobra. So I just wanted to show you me moving him over here. Again, um, it's no big deal. It's nothing that takes a... Uh, you know, a, a, a lot of um, a lot of daredevilishness or anything like that. They're moving from here to here. Um, I just wanted to give him more room. This 20 was just a very temporary fix until I could get something bigger. The enclosure that he was in, the, the lid got messed up um, through my own fault. Um, so you know, I don't keep snakes in anything that I don't think is totally secure. So a venomous snakes especially, so um, now he's got a new tub that he's very happy in. Um, he's one of my better cobras. Um, he, he, great eater, he always eats. As a matter of fact, I, I didn't want to move him because he just ate a huge rat that was way too big for him, but he doesn't care. He'll eat it anyway. Um, so I just wanted to show you this. I uh, hope you enjoyed it again. If you like what I do, click on my uh, the like button. Um, if you want to see more of our videos, then please subscribe to us. Thank you.